Yo, yo, yo. Okay, what I'm going to do is save this. So I'm going to save as. And I'm in my resources at the moment. Now, I'm going to make it a JPEG. Now, you may notice I've got a few JPEGs in here. Practice. Even if 3D World said I didn't practice, you rascals. Lucky for you, I've got such a nice voice. Okay, um... Now, let me see. I'm going to call this one our tutorial diffuse one and just click OK right now what I want to do is turn this into an awesome uh, depth map so image first adjustment I'm going to desaturate everything well that was cool and I'm going to want to start getting some kind of uniform colours as much as possible in places and I'm also going to want to strip out a lot of this grainy stuff because it's going to make our texture look like arse so at the minute my tolerance is 10 I might want to change that to about 13 let's have a look at that, that's not bad it's only getting there I'm going to change it maybe to about 12 and you notice I'm going to use the add to selection so I can slowly add more Okay, and when I get a shape like that, I just hit delete. I'm getting too much now, so I'm just going to change it back to 10 again. Okay, delete. Just trying to clean up any spaces just by multiple clicks. What I'm doing is, I'm basically deleting all the parts that, as far as I'm concerned, are flat. These are the parts that are going to be kind of the wall, okay? Everything else is going to be sticking out or sticking in or whatever. But these are going to be a nice uniform mid-level grey once I've cleaned them up. Okay, so as you see, I've gone round and I've kind of deleted these parts just using the marquee tool. Now it's a small part so we don't have to use the marquee tool if we don't want to. What I'm going to do now is reopen this and instead I'm just going to desaturate it and I'm going to work a nice big window up God, my DVD burner is a noisy piece of equipment. Okay, and let's start over here. And we'll start here in this section. And we're just going to take our time and try and get a nice result. So there. So what we're doing here is we're going to be telling V-Ray or you know mental ray I suppose you could use for this as well that we're going to basically um, want the parts that are darker pushed in further and the parts that are lighter pushed out it's a pretty simple premise okay just going to pull out this part here as well. So what I'm doing at the moment is just working on identifying parts that go in. There we go. So I'm just multiple select in the inside. You may notice these are bevels by the way. Okay. And again over this side. Just 
keeping it going. Yes, this is pretty repetitive, but then again, so is me applying greebles and things. So. It's just the photoshoppery version of it. <laughs> there we go. Okay, that's not bad, just delete it all. Okay, it's starting to get good shape here. Now, this part here at the top. is going to stick out more than these pieces here. So, what I'm going to have to do now is get my mid-grey, which is this. About 131 on each. And I'm going to go and colour in every single one of these squares. Like so. Alright, now, for this bit at the top here, I'm going to have to darken it. So if that was 131, this should be probably about 100. Drag it across. There we go. Now this next one is going to come out even more, but I want a gradient, so I'm going to select here. Like so. And for this part, rather than go here, I'll go to the gradient tool, and I'm going to click in my gradient. And the colours I want are going to be kind of darkish grey here, leading to a considerably darker grey over here. Sorry, lighter grey. Ooh, I've got it back to front, haven't I? Better turn this around. So that's going to be a lighter grey here, which is about 219. And this one here is going to be about 150. Click OK. And I'm just going to Hold and shift, just go straight up there, and that'll lighten that part. Control D to deselect. Let's go back down here again. And this is going to have to be about 150, no, 140, sorry. That's kind of a mid level one in between the two greys. And then at the top, this one. really nice light white. Well, not white, but, you know, maybe about 210. There we go. Control D. So now you can see we've got our different heights here already being mapped in. Now, we're going to need to make the insides of these darker, so... What I'm going to use here is just a small brush, I think. Make things a little easier. Yeah, it will. And coming close over here. And this will allow me to build our bevels up over this side. So, start it down here at about 120, and we're going to bring it darker to about a hundred like so and change my brush to about six pixel start here in the corner Oop, that was too far Try it again. Get in there. Hold shift again. Like that. 
that. Oops, got to be careful of doing that. It happens when I sometimes forget to take my finger off shift. There we go. And what we're doing is, we're just kind of telling our diffuse by doing this how far down we really want this to go. And yeah, it takes a while, but it's going to look nice. And you guys have been whining at me long enough really to do this kind of thing, so... Okay, and again just here. And there's quite a bit of clean up that's probably going to be needed, but we'll worry about that soon. Okay, and down. Trust me, it is worth it, by the way. It's a long process, but it would be like, yay. I know I was. Okay. Also, doing this is going to get rid of all these horrible grainy bits. And uh, they sharpen your model real bad, just to let you know. There we go. If you recall, by the way, um, oh, um, I did a tutorial on texturing for the Blackout set, and it takes forever, so... Just letting you know. Okay, in fact, I'm going to call a break to it just here, and we'll come back to it shortly.